I can actually just do this. It's easier. There we go. Um, well, we got Blade with Trespasser double sticks. Golden Gun with a Midas sidearm. And Golden Gun with a Pulse and a Shoddy. I have to say, I'm not massively hopeful about this one. Am I not massively hopeful? I mean, I will be fucking stuck. The real question is, have they noticed it's only one player yet? Because people tend to play different if they know it's 1v3. People tend to play hella aggro. And, or hella passive. I rarely find a team that pushes at the right time. It's always either all out rushing, which is the scarier strategy, or passive, which is the long term better strategy for the enemy team to use in a 1v3. I, I absolutely beautifully outgunned that guy. He I did. Fuck. That was beautiful. I cannot believe. Like, my primary shots, y'all see that? That was hella crafty. When you literally can't get the triple down because there's a pipe in the way. But you get the double enemies. Am I gonna burn out? I think I'm not. Okay. We're safe. Well, I'm lucky that that guy's controller died, I wanna say. Um. <laughs> got pretty lucky with that. So. If anyone's wondering why I'm so hesitant about being able to 1v3 this, it's just, um. You know, a deft weapons imply that they can at least get to the lighthouse on their own. Um. And a bunch of sidearms. And pretty cheap nades, you know, it's one of those things where it's like... <laughs> so they're probably gonna rush now. Oh well. I think there's one more right. Got him. With the good old double tap and last word, followed by melee. Love that strat. So he stuck me because he evidently knew that he was not good enough to take me out on his own. And I don't mean that in a rude way, but just Lost stickies in general are incredibly cheap. So, really, really, he's cheap. Wow. His teammate stuck me. And I've gotten six oh, kills on them in a 3v1 situation. And you're teabagging. You must have a massive penis, good sir. Because, you know, you're obviously a lot better than me. I mean, you, you took me out. You're a lot better than me, dude. Because, you know, three on one. Is he going below? Obviously he's below right now, but... Okay, that's frustrating. And here comes the tea bags. And is his teammate going to teabag too? No, it's just him. His teammates evidently have a little self-respect. Why do people teabag? I don't really get that. Like, just in general. Unless you're... I mean, you know... I understand first, and again, why are you teabagging? The only time that I understand people teabagging first at all is if they are, like, playing a hella cheap strat. Like, we're talking, if they're running around with sticky nades, right? Like, sticky nades, universal remote, and sidearm. They're running that, you know what? I would teabag that, and in fact, I think I did earlier today. But, like, when people teabag, people are just trying to 1v3. I'm not using any sort of sticks, anything like that. Like, why? And you know what? You're gonna get back back, kid. Take this moment in. You weren't it. Alright, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Um, had to drop Nova, but it was one of those things where it was like, if I didn't, I'd die. And I mean, I won the round, I'd say it paid off in the end. We're gonna straight this time. So, alright, let's keep going. I mean, I said I'd be starstruck if I took two rounds off these guys, and I mean, I've taken two rounds. They are not as good as I thought they would were gonna be. Or, I don't know. I didn't even think that they were good looking at their setups necessarily, so much as because in this meta, it doesn't matter if you have skill or not, it only matters what you're using, aka sticky, sidearms, and click that. And they had all those things, so I was just assuming this would be an incredibly hard match, but so far this hasn't been the hardest match I've ever had to play. Alright, well I got him down, and this is where I'm very thankful that they don't appear to be playing much like a team, um, because he had no teammates near him. Got his teammate. Is this guy sniping? I'm a little worried. He is not. It's a golden gun of some kind. 
I choked the red snipe. Okay, so one of them actually just left. So this is now a 1v2. And uh, it's now a 1v1 trials. Uh, this is absolutely hilarious. They teabagged first, and now they're starting to rage quit. That is absolutely freaking hilarious. You know what? You're going to teabag me after I make stickies and sidearms, and now you guys are absolutely paying for it. This is hilarious. Are they? Did they lag out? Did they just actually leave their teammate? Wow, they left. And, yeah, there's one left. <laughs> well, now it's 1v1. That's hilarious, you bag early. Well, G freaking G. You bag, you get wrecked, and then you rage quit. That was satisfying. GG, I'm probably gonna upload this as this is just an absolutely hilarious match. In fact, they're gonna bag, and then I got them all, and then bagged them back. They haven't really got so mad, they actually rage quit the match. 12 and 2. 6 KD, not too bad. GG, if you're watching those on YouTube, please click the links in the description, it really helps out. And uh hope you guys have a great day. Stay salty, Guardians. Zacking out. Hey guys, Zacking Gaming here. Thank you for watching. Before you click away, uh, I've got a couple really quick announcements to make. Uh, first off, about the community montage. You have one more week exactly from when I upload this video. Uh, so that's it. I believe is Saturday, July the first. You have one more week to send clips for my community tosh. Um, and then we will no longer be accepting clips. So if you want to send clips for a community montage Which will be entered for movie of the week and everyone who gets a clip in it will be submitted for it um, Then please go ahead and send clips the email will be in the description of this video along to links to my twitch Twitter and discord which is where it comes to another announcement Which is um I am affiliated on twitch and now I have a sub button so if you uh, if you are a fan of my content, and if so, I really appreciate you, and you want to support me in the ultimate way, you can actually subscribe to my Twitch. Um, you will get a couple cool emotes, I'll add you, and um, there's several other uh, in Twitch bonuses. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching, I really appreciate you guys, I hope to see you guys around. Zacking, out.